Pastor Bill Bethel Lutheran Church, and we are located in Green Valley. Uh, if you happen to be in the northern part of the country, I hope you are staying safe and warm at this time. If you aren't, stay safe anyway. Uh, today is a Monday. It's the 8th of February. Please pray with me. And you've probably heard this prayer before. It's known as the Serenity Prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Our reading for today is from the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, the first seven verses. When they got to Iconium, they went, as they always did, to the meeting place of the Jews and gave their message. The message convinced both Jews and non-Jews, and not just a few either. But the unbelieving Jews worked up a whispering campaign against Paul and against Barnabas, sowing mistrust and suspicion in the minds of the people in the street. The two apostles were there a long time, speaking freely, openly, and confidently as they presented the clear evidence of God's gifts, God corroborating their work with miracles and wonders. But then there was a split in public opinion, some siding with the Jews, some with the apostles. One day, learning that both the Jews and non-Jews had been organized by their leaders to beat them up, they escaped as best they could to the next towns. Lyconia, Lystra, Derby, and that neighborhood. But then, we're right back at it again. Right back at it again, getting out the message. Here ends our passage. You know, as, as we go through the various books of the New Testament, and in specifics we've been looking at Paul, uh, I think it's easy for us to say that indeed there were conflicts in those churches. And I've, I've mentioned several times in our online gatherings that things weren't always just peachy with the early churches. They had some really bad arguments and conflicts which led to physical conflicts frequently. And here again, we have factions that are sprouting up. Some believing, some not believing. And they went after the apostles. Uh, Paul ended up getting stoned. Not stoned to death, but he was beat up pretty bad. They threw in a couple stones. And it's uh, later on, after this passage, that it talks about just that situation. But he didn't give up. He was persistent. Now, you might say, well, you know, I really don't see any kind of this conflict going on in my life where I get threatened because I want to talk about the fact that I believe in Christ. But we have a lot of very complex and complicated things in our lives that work against our faith, that try to distract us, to draw us away from our beliefs. And we need to be on guard for that. We always need to be aware that our faith is buoyed up, it's strengthened when we are in contact with the Word and when we're active in our prayer life. Always remember that God is your source of strength, a deep well that never runs dry. God is there for you as a resource, always a strength for you, no matter what comes. Please pray with me as we close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit protect you and keep you now and always. Amen. 
The sparrow's not worried about tomorrow Or the troubles to come The lily's not thinking about the seasons The drought or the flood The tree that's planted by the water Isn't faced by the fire So why should I be? Cause you take good care of me The sun's not worried about the winter Cause soon it will pass The light's not thinking about the darkness Or the shadow it cast A heart that's planted in forgiveness Doesn't dwell in the past So why should I be? Cause you take good care Take good care of me You take good care of me